Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you. We trust you've had a great week so far and that each and every day you have been encouraged in your faith in God as we've spent these few moments together. We've been looking at receiving healing through the word, through his word. And I trust that, you know, it has brought an understanding to you that God can release healing into your life through his word. Just as you hear his word, meditate in it, receive it, and release your faith in that word by consistently speaking it, believing it and declaring it in prayer and acting in line with this word. I want to wrap up this week by emphasizing that healing is available for every person. You see, sometimes we tend to rule ourselves out saying, well, maybe healing is for somebody else or somebody else, not for me. Maybe I am one of those people who are supposed to be suffering for the rest of my life. That's not true. Let me just give you two, uh, remind you of two truths in the scriptures. Proverbs 3 Verses 7 and 8, the Bible says, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Now just think about this very logically, very simply. How many of us can fear God and depart from evil? Few of us, some of us, or all of us? The answer is all of us. Everyone can make a choice to fear God. And depart from evil. Do you fear God and depart from evil? And you're departing from evil, staying away from evil? Of course. That's why you're paying attention to his word. Because you fear God. And because you fear God and you depart from evil, the next verse is also for you. It says, It will be health to your flesh, that means health, healing to your body, and strength to your bones, and nourishment to your bones. If your bones are well nourished, that's where you know, the blood is manufactured in your bones. It's, it's just symbolic, telling us that you are going to be in good health. It's going to be strength, health, and nourishment, and nurture to your whole body. So the very simple thing of fearing God becomes positions you to walk in health and healing. What am I saying? Healing is for you. You fear God, it's for you. Healing is for you. The second truth I want to just point us to is the ministry of Jesus. When Jesus ministered on the earth over and over again, the Bible says all, everyone who came to him received healing. Jesus ministered healing to everyone who came to him in faith. That's why we can say with all confidence that healing is for everyone who will come to God by faith in Jesus Christ and in his word. Healing is for you. Every healing promise is yours. Take time to receive his word. Feed your spirit with his word and receive healing through his word because healing is available to you. It's for everyone. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are God who treats all of us equally. And you've made provision for healing for every person. That just us fearing you, God, positions us to receive health to our body, strengthen our bones. Let every person listening receive a fulfillment of your word, healing in their bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.